Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another speed build. There has been a tiny house hype because of the announcement of tiny living, so I figured I'd give it another try and I built another tiny house. After building this, I was actually asking on Twitter what people consider to be actually tiny and I don't think that this is really proper super tiny. <laughs> but I built this on a 20 by 15 lot, the living area, the kitchen, the living room and the dining room. There isn't really a proper dining room, it's just an island counter and a couple of bar stools. This area is super tiny actually. Then I also added a bedroom and another bedroom. So there's a small master bedroom and a tiny kids room. So you can fit up to three sims into this build. So it's a tiny family home and I've been reading a lot of stuff about tiny homes and what simmers actually consider to be tiny as I said and some people say up to 10 tiles which is crazy. I realized that I've never built a really 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 super tiny home but I really want to do this very soon so I just want to challenge myself to build a micro tiny house maybe even i don't know this is super tricky you guys know that i like to build big and i've never really looked into tiny builds this much i've created a couple of tiny homes in the past but i've never really looked into this this is kind of not the theme of this channel but now after the announcement of the pack i figured i really have to look into this and i really want to build some proper tiny homes and it's super interesting what people are managing to build there's also been a contest. I also participated in this and the winners will be announced on Friday. This little contest was hosted by the gurus. I don't even think that I have a chance to win and it's not about winning for me. And I'm not a tiny house expert. I just thought it would be fun to participate, but I've seen so many amazing submissions and many people just like me squeezed in as much as possible onto a 20 by 15 lot and i thought is this really considered to be tiny i was just questioning my own build really the last one that i created and then i was asking for opinions and many people think that like 10 hearts is fine and i think in the new pack in the trailer they were talking about 100 tiles in total but also including patio area and all that i guess I think that there will be some limitations in the pack so that it will be much easier to actually build a tiny home so you know without counting the tiles how big your build actually is at least I think so from what we've seen in the trailer I don't know maybe I'm wrong here but I can't wait to see more so we can learn how to build proper tiny homes I really wish that there would be some bunk beds there aren't but a bunk bed would save so much space you could just have a bed on top and then for example I don't know a desk underneath for example or a sofa we are going to have a Murphy bed but I don't know we will see what's going to happen and maybe we are going to have some letters or proper bunk beds in another pack who knows but I'm really excited for the pack but enough about the new pack let's talk about this build so I raised the terrain so the main portion of the build the actual build sits on top of a hill the area at the bottom is just for decorative purposes you guys know that I like to build big and this was just a little trick to make the build look a bit bigger and I was able to add more detail the whole layout just looks way more interesting than just building the top section on top of the just at the bottom on the lot I don't know I just wanted to raise the train and I wanted to include this little area at the bottom so there's a little driveway and this driveway is just a fake just a mock driveway there's no garage behind it or anything behind this area is just the hill so it's just for decoration and then on the right side when you look at the bottom of the room that I built this is also just an outdoor area where some skin walk into the house basically so they access this area they can walk up the stairs and then they are at the top where you can see the balcony and then the rooms at the top this is the actual tiny house so it looks much bigger than it is I added a lot of stuff so it looks more interesting as I said for example the wall at the top also where I added the two get famous windows they are amazing they have this very bulky frame it just looks amazing they look so interesting i love to use them for modern builds i also included a round section of course i did so i 
didn't want to put a focus on any round elements here really it was all about the modern layout for me the unique roofing just different elements the wall at the top that i just mentioned including the windows and the whole color scheme but i also wanted to include a little round eye catcher so i once again used the pristine pedestal which is a get famous object it's just a surface it's a little table technically and i like to use this little white cube to create some round shapes i hold on alt i hold on my left mouse button this way i'm able to rotate objects freely and i just like to create some round shapes with it if you're not new here you know what i'm talking about but i just thought i'd mention this quickly the whole color scheme is a combination of white and brown. I like to do that for modern builds a lot. Recently I haven't built this many modern builds really, but this is kind of back to my modern roots. I really like to do this. I like to combine this very warm tone wood with white or maybe even black or gray. It depends on the build. And this is what I did here. And there are just many, many decorative elements that don't really serve a purpose they just look fancy and this window that i used on the red side the big one or the two big ones are also part of get famous i think and the fence that i used in the front this very small fence it's a debug fence and here at the top i just used the island living glass floor you can size it up or down and i sized four of them down so i was able to fit it into this little tower i guess you could say this looks amazing on the inside the light is just beautiful when it's afternoon or noon because there's so much light coming in through the ceiling and this just looks amazing you can also use it at the floor when you are building little bridges or something of course it's a perfect object when you are creating any island builds but i feel like for any modern builds it's also super amazing and talking about debug objects because i was just mentioning the debug fence i've always activated all these cheats the bb.show hidden objects cheat bb.show live edit objects cheat full edit and cast all these cheats because i'm using mc command center and this way i don't have to enter all these cheats all the time i can totally recommend using this mod if you are into using mods this doesn't affect this build or building in general i just figured i'd mention this because in case you're wondering why you can always see certain debug objects when i'm going through the regular menu this is why and once again, I'm using my beloved flat base game bush to hide the steep terrain slope. There wasn't any space to smooth out the slope. I mean, I oftentimes like to use this object whenever I have a steep slope, but here I didn't have that much space, so I didn't even have the chance to smooth out the slope. So I just had to hide the slope somehow, and I really like to use this object. I also added some shelves all around the tower. I also used this spot eye object. It's just a decorative object that you can use for pools or fountains. And I like to use it for all kinds of different things. Whenever I'm building something modern, I really like to use this object here. I just like to frame stuff so I can add a frame to this glass window, for example. I'm also going to use it for the driveway later on. And the car in the front that you've seen in the beginning that I'm placing here right now, this is also a debug object. It's actually base game thing so it's just for decoration it serves no purpose there are no cars and i know that a lot of people don't really like drive race fake cars or garages in this game but once again i just wanted to make this build look more interesting if you want to use this build and you are not into this you can just delete this car and that's it when I was asking about tiny builds on Twitter, I've also read something really interesting about this aspect, about including cars, garages, or driveway to a tiny home. So tiny living is also about leading an eco-friendly life. It's about being responsible about your carbon footprint. And I've even talked about this in my last tiny home speed build, where I said that it's amazing that you lead an environment friendly life and all that. This is also a great aspect about tiny living and tiny homes. So some people think that a car or a driveway or a garage don't belong to a tiny build. So once again, I think I did something very wrong here. I mean, it's up to you. It's totally up to you how you define a tiny build. Is it just about the space? Is it about your carbon footprint as a sim? 
even when it's just a fake car. And I think this is really interesting. This really got me thinking what's a proper tiny build. I mean, after all, it's just a game and I always say, you do you, you build what you like to, you play how you like to, and this is the fun part about this game. You can just create your own world, your own game. I really like that. I also really like Minecraft, for example, for that reason, you can just make whatever you like and you kind of create your own stories and your own gameplay and i really like to do that i don't really like to play games where you you have a pre-made storyline and then you cannot really add a lot to the gameplay yourself creatively i mean some games i like but most of the time the games that really hold a dear place in my heart are games like the sims or minecraft or stuff like city skylines planet coaster planet zoo stuff where i can just be creative and build something or where i can even create my own storylines however i just thought it was interesting how some people define tiny builds and the whole carbon footprint idea and maybe building a tiny eco living house i think that's super interesting let me know in the comments down below, do you think that this really matters? Does a fictional carbon footprint in this game play a role in building a tiny home? Is it just about the space? Is it only about the interior space for you? Or does it also matter how the exterior looks like? Should there be a lot of landscaping, patio areas, balcony, fake areas at the bottom, such as the one that I created here? I would really like to hear what do you define as a tiny build? I think it was super interesting to read all these opinions on Twitter and now I really want to ask you guys here what do you think about this? And here I'm working on the interior. So when your sims enter this house, they are standing inside the kitchen. I included a bit of counter space here. On the left side, I'm going to use a part of this for the sink. Of course, there's a stove and a fridge. And in my last tiny build, I learned that it's really difficult to really include the fridge because the fridge needs a lot of space to actually open. You can easily block this fridge and it's not working anymore. So this time I was a bit smarter about this and I made sure that there is enough space right away so I don't have to fix a lot of stuff and then at first I included a sofa then I noticed that there really isn't enough space for this so I'm going to get rid of the sofa and I'm just going to include an armchair so I was also able to squeeze in a bookshelf so this area here as I said earlier is super tiny in my opinion it was really difficult to squeeze in all the different objects really so I really had to move stuff around. I'm always using move objects. I have to admit that. I don't think that I've ever created a build here without using move objects. So I really moved stuff around pressing alt. So then later on I play tested this. So I made sure that the bookshelf is working for example. The microwave I had to change its position a little bit. The sink everything is working properly. The bin and the fridge the stove the tv just everything everything here is working play testing is always important but here for a tiny build you really have to make sure that everything works and this is the master bedroom this is not really super tiny i have to admit i mean i placed the bed in the center and then there is enough space for the nightstands but i feel like the area between the bed and the cupboard is a just a bit too big maybe i should have made this a bit smaller in hindsight i'm really sorry about that i mentioned this earlier i think that the living area is really tiny but the bedroom i'm not sure about this <laughs> next time i i will go even more tiny i promise you and then there is also a kids room you, of course any sim could stay in this room you could just get rid of the little unicorn thingy and any sim could stay in this house so there's enough space for up to three sims as i said earlier of course any adult sim could also stay in a room which includes a unicorn unicorns are amazing but i mean i was going for a slight kids room theme here and if you want to change this into a regular grown-up bedroom you could just delete the unicorn if you would like to it's super tiny 
when it comes to living in this house with three sims probably. I just think that just imagine walking around this house and everyone is just in the way all the time. I said this before, I think tiny living is so cute and it's such a good idea even in real life but I don't think it would be for me especially living with two other people in a tiny house. I don't know. This is the best room. This could have been a little bit more tiny as well. Like I wish it would have reduced the size of the bedroom and the bathroom a little bit. I mean, if you play in this house, it's still really small and maybe it's good that it's not super, super tiny when you are living in this house with up to three sims, as I said, but at the same time, I don't know. I hope you guys forgive me. I'm not a tiny home expert, but I'm really, I'm trying hard to become a tiny home expert for you guys. So we are ready for the new pack here. And this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can find this build fully furnished in the gallery. I included some screenshots here, including the floor plan. I started to do that because some of you were requesting that I do that. And I hope that you have a fantastic day and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,